Hello, I wanted to welcome you to Phantom Productions Vintage Recording Collection. And to tell you a little bit about the DVD set that we've released, in the last two years we've upgraded this DVD collection to now include three DVDs and over seven hours of information. It is really an educational DVD collection that talks about the history of audio recording. And we have a segment that talks about how the reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder works. The collection now has 150 reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders and 100 microphones. While it is centered around our collection, it is actually a historical document about the history of those reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders that were built between the 1930s and the 1980s. Out of these 150 tape recorders, there are 40 plus manufacturers and what we've done is provided a brief history about how they began, who founded them, and how they evolved. Dave Boyers, who is the son of John Boyers, one of the founders of MagnaCord. Dave gave me permission to use the pictures and told me that his father was now 96. Normal recording level for playback head azimuth adjustment. He named it after his father's home, Otari, which was a village where his father was born. We have the Revox T26, or the Dynavox which is one of the first Willie Studer machines in our collection. It had only one speed, seven and a half, and was full track. We found that the first recorded sound on a mechanical device was the phone autograph. Give a nickel for your life, or do you either? Well, I'll take over this, Cal. From the time of the collapse of the American Telegraphone Company, this was made to reduce cost and improve quality. The US radio station, WQXR, experienced Musicians and recording folks may be interested to learn that the first magnet, the transcriber, was the military version of the German engineers had also developed AC biasing. Catalogs available to us that we use to document a lot of the things we talk about in this DVD included Ally, Lafayette, McGee. There are also guides along the way to keep the tape in place as it passes by the heads. RNFX 200A serial number 33 was originally bought from Bing Crosby Enterprises by Capitol Records in Los Angeles, California. Actually capable of recording over four hours on a single reel of tape. When Joan Baez joined Bob Dylan. Fleetwood Mag is now at work here, just north of San Francisco. This recorder evolved into the TCA-40. They weren't paying you to teach Sunday school. No. Yeah, the funny part of it was, though, is that... Uh, uh... And let's see what we hear. The quickest, most economical way we can help them. Zero point one percent flutter that indicated your recording level. It's really been exciting for me to build this reel-to-reel -reel collection and to document it in this DVD. This has really been a passion for me to provide education to folks about the background of these reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders. I've been in the Austin music scene since 1978 and I worked on the Austin Music Business Association and my wife and I created the Austin Community College Commercial Music Degree Program. So it's been really essential to me to provide the education about how a lot of the musicians that were able to get their music out to the public used reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders. And it was not until the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s that persons were able to get a real good recording of their performance that they could share with other people, that they could promote to record companies and publishers and get their information out there. It's a lot easier these days with digital and with the internet, but back then it was not. It was really great for musicians to get the chance to do a multi-track recording. And Les Paul really pioneered the ability to do that. 
A lot of musicians today probably don't give a second thought to adding four or five, six, seven, eight tracks to a recording they're working on. But when they first started doing three track, four track, finally eight track, and on up, it was really pretty an exciting era. And so what we've tried to do is try to provide a profile of some of the machines that musicians used back then. The impossible will take a little while. This is a Tanberg 11 CP. We are now providing the 3 DVD set, but we're also providing the ability for folks to download this on the internet. We really hope you enjoy this information. A lot of folks that aren't interested in real-to-real -real tape recorders will probably be put to sleep by this, but if you have any kind of passion for recording and the history of recording, I think you'll love this DVD set. Our feedback so far has been 100% positive with some really glowing remarks from folks in the industry that said it was really fun to go back and look at a lot of the equipment from back then. Thanks for your time. <laughs>